Hey, how's it going guys? My name's Eric and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Bioshock Hub. So, today is going to be a little bit different of a video for myself personally, because this is something that I've never done before. Of course it's going to pertain to Bioshock, more specifically Bioshock Infinite, but this is something that I've been enamored with ever since I started playing video games. And the more and more I've played over the course of my entire life, the more that this particular thing has really stuck with me. And that is details or secrets in video games. Thankfully, Bioshock Infinite has a ton of these, and today I want to share five of those with you. Whether they're secrets, whether they're details, whatever it may be, I want to share five of them that you might not have paid attention to, that you might not have known, etc. If you guys want to see more videos like this and enjoy the video, please let me know down in the comment section below if you want me to make a potential series out of this and I'll go back through all of the Bioshocks. If not, then let me know, no way, stop this content right now. But if you want to support the video as well, drop a like, it helps me out a ton. And with that being said, let's get on into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. So the first detail I'd like to share with you guys today is kind of towards the beginning of the game. When Booker first enters Columbia and starts walking around. You can go into a grocery store or a convenience store and you can actually see an honor system where you can go in, buy some stuff, and then you can actually pay. With Booker, you can actually pay in Silver Eagles. This is something that, like I said, it appeals to me because even though it's such a small detail, the fact that I can actually pay for something is, quite frankly, something that I really enjoy. And there's actually one more thing based off of Booker being able to pay for something, but that will be saved for part two if you guys are interested in seeing it. So, with that being said, here's the clip. Columbia Raffle and Fair. <laughs> He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key and the scroll. guys, warm temperatures. Hello. And light variable oh, winds throughout man. the afternoon. In short, a beautiful day for the fifty. Here you go. Now this next detail is probably one of my favorites all throughout Bioshock Infinite. And it's such a small one, but it's a very significant one at that. Let's say you go up on a skyline and you're just sitting there, like on the skyhooks. You can actually look down at Columbia and you can actually see it floating on the balloons and using the quantum particles, you can actually see it just floating and you can see the whole entire city bobbing up and bobbing down and then bobbing up and then bobbing down. To me, they put a lot of detail into that as well and I hope you guys enjoy it. So here you go. Now this next detail is kind of one of those secret ones that I was telling you guys about. It's more funny if anything. So once you enter the blue ribbon, you encounter the Lutes twins where you first end up getting your shield and if you got the season pass or if you bought the collection, you'll get all your rewards from doing so. Once you take that shield, if you try to melee Rosalind Lutes or shoot at her or shoot at her brother, they actually give you some funny banter and some funny dialogues. So, this one, again, is one of my favorites throughout the entire game, and I think I have to do this at least once throughout every playthrough that I have of Bioshock Infinite. So, if you guys enjoy it, let me know, and without further ado, here you guys go. You'll find that handy in a pinch. The difference between life and death. You missed. Missed. Missed again. Four out of five. Another miss, and a miss. We can afford to do this all day. The question is, can you? Oh. 
You'll find the going tough enough without squandering your friends. Or your ammunition. Now the next detail you guys might have noticed if you've actually done a playthrough of Bioshock Infinite. And you actually get a trophy or an achievement or gamer score for actually completing all eight Vigor combinations. I just really want you to pay attention to what actually happens when you do those Vigor combinations. Let's say you use Murder of Crows and then you throw a Bomb of Devil's Kiss. You'll actually see that the Murder of Crows are actually on fire so for me that little tiny detail just means a lot to me personally and it's really cool to notice so here you guys go drive them into the open Now this last little secret detail is probably my favorite throughout the entirety of Bioshock Infinite. And it feels like I was the one that found this because I haven't noticed anything else on YouTube about it. Don't count me on that or don't quote me on that, but I haven't found anything on this particular clip. So when you're on Battleship Bay, after you guys fall into the ocean that was made, Elizabeth ends up reviving you. You tell her to go away, you'll be a minute, and she goes and runs off. Well, on this same beach, once you get Elizabeth's attention, and if you stand still for a while, she'll actually wander off and start doing her own thing. So, I want you guys to really watch this and really admire the work of Courtney Draper. So, without further ado, here's my favorite secret or detail, whichever you guys want to consider this as, and I really do hope you guys enjoy it. So, here you go. Damn fools, should let them drown themselves. Thin out the herd. Well, that's positively Darwinian. Whatever do you mean? Darwin? <laughs> Charles Darwin. Hey, keep your voice down. Do you know this artificial beach was built in only six months? It almost looks like a real ocean. And how it's do you know that? Of elaborate From one of the books I threw at you. They also served passing well for reading. Don't laugh. Watch this. Gotta keep moving, if we're gonna get the airship to Paris. Okay, just one more? Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Two quick things before I go. One, my new PC just came back from Ironside, it's all fixed up, so streams should be starting here within the next couple of days. I'm going to be shooting for a Thursday stream, if not Friday, so make sure that you guys turn on notifications, that way you know when I go live. Other than that, videos like this are something I kind of want to try my hand at, if that makes sense. I want to expand my content a little bit because I would like to do this for Bioshock 1, 
Bioshock 2. I can do another episode on Infinite. Then eventually I want to go to The Last of Us and The Last of Us Part 2. Or Fallout, Fallout 76, Red Dead Redemption 2. There's just so many games and so many videos that I have ideas for. And this is me trying something out. So if you guys do enjoy these types of videos, please let me know down in the comment section below. If not, then I won't continue them. But if you do, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Also, if you want to drop a like to show your support, that would be very much appreciated. If you're new here and want to see more content or help the Rapture family grow, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and share this video with some family members or some friends. Other than that, if you want to talk to me outside of YouTube, Twitter and my Discord are the best ways to do so. Both links will be down in the description below. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Take care.